What's up guys, this is Ryan Brown, Labrada Pro Series athlete. And today I'm gonna to go over some uh, mobility drills we can do before a push or even a pull session. So right now I got the guys lined up. We are going to start with a PVC foam roller, kind of on the mid back. We're gonna address mid back mobility, uh, thoracic rotation, just things that'll help them get primed and ready before they do their workout. Basically, as you can see right here, Hunter, he's very familiar with this. He does it all the time. Um, he is basically just going nice and slow over his spine and allowing for that roller to kind of sink in, manipulate any tissue, just kind of lengthen things out so he's nice and mobile when he starts pressing. And kind of rule of thumb here, you don't want to go over, you know, any bony prominences. You don't want to go over, you know, your SI joint or tailbone. You want to focus on, you know, kind of the meat on the back. So, you know, these guys got a lot of it. They're having to work through, you know, layers of tissue. Not everyone has the same density. So other people might not be able to tolerate this quite as much. You guys getting any popping at all? It's another thing when you do rolling, sometimes you will actually get you know, a mid-back adjustment or a low-back adjustment? Audible release. Yes. <laughs> Audible release. So the two main areas we're actually just kind of addressing today um, is mid-back, you know, thoracic spine. You guys, whenever you do this, it's pretty key to just remember to breathe. You know, if we stay tense and tight, that tissue's not going to relax the way we want it to. You know, the goal here is just kind of priming the tissue, pushing blood into the muscle, kind of getting things lubricated so they move better. So great point Hunter made, you know, he was just talking about trigger points, you know, areas that, you know, we might find that feel knotted up. The big thing I see people do wrong here is they just kind of roll over them and keep going. You know, that, that issue is there for a reason. And, you know, issues that stay around and linger, sometimes they require more attention. So stay on those areas for, you know, up to a minute, just kind of relax as much as you can, breathe, and a lot of times those guys will, you know, kind of release and flatten out for us. And like with most athletes, you may have a side that, you know, is more restricted. It might feel tighter and, you know, it's just going to require a little bit more time and patience with. And once we get done with this, guys, we'll do kind of one more thing. All right, guys. So now that we are kind of quote unquote tenderized, uh, one of the things we're going to do just to kind of free up any junk in the scapula and just really get things, you know, retract, retracting better. We're gonna do something new today. So we're gonna get down on all fours. I call these scapular drops. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a nice neutral spine, let those shoulder blades drop down, bring them back up. So we're not actually using our chest here. We're using an anterior muscle called our serratus to basically lift our body up and push it back out. So basically what we want to create here is a nice straight line, you know, uh, you know, el uh, I'm sorry, wrist, elbow and shoulder just kind of stacked on top of each other. And uh, again, neutral spine, you know, just kind of a neutral uh, cervical spine as well. We don't want our head cranked back that way we're, you know, not aggravating any muscles in the back of the neck. So try these anytime you're feeling tight or, you know, just a little bit locked up. Uh, before your workout, nothing crazy, just five to 10 minutes of going through and uh, hope you guys like it. Awesome.